everyone, it's Riley from Echidna Sewing and today I'll be showing you how to set up your NV50S. To get started, all you'll need is your power cord, your foot control, thread of your choice, and an empty bobbin. We're going to start by plugging your machine into the power, then plug in your foot control. When sewing, you can either use the foot control or the start-stop button. You can turn the machine on by pressing the button on the right side of the machine. Your screen will light up and your needle will move. The LCD screen will then show you the required foot and the recommended stitch width and length. You also have two buttons here. One is a needle up down button, which moves your needle up and down. And the other button is a lock stitch button. If you press and hold the needle position button for about five seconds or until you hear a beep, it will switch the needle's end position to either up or down. This can be really helpful when you're sewing edges and pivoting around corners. If you want to change your foot, you need to make sure that your presser foot is up. The handle is located behind your presser foot. Then you can press the black button on the back of the presser foot holder to release the current foot. Then you can position the new foot underneath the presser foot holder and lower the presser foot so the new foot snaps into place. Before sewing, you will need to wind a bobbin and thread your machine. So let's do the bobbin first. Place your spool of thread on the spool pin and secure it in place with the spool cap, which is an included accessory. Next, place your bobbin on the bobbin winder and follow the dotted line on top of the machine to bring your thread over to the bobbin winder. Wind it around the bobbin clockwise and pull the thread through the slot at the bottom to cut the excess off. Push your bobbin winder to the right so that the machine switches to bobbin winding mode. Now you can use the foot control to wind your bobbin. You can also use the start stop button here to wind it automatically. Make sure that your foot control is unplugged before you do so otherwise your start stop button won't work. The bobbin will stop winding automatically when the thread reaches the stopper. Alternatively, you can simply stop it when you want by taking your foot off the control or by pressing the start stop button. Snip the thread and push your bobbin winder to the left to switch back to sewing mode. Now to put your bobbin into the bobbin case, make sure that your presser foot is up, then you can take the cover off by pulling the latch to the right. Before putting your bobbin in, make sure your thread is coming out anti-clockwise. Now the NV50S features a quick set drop-in bobbin. All you need to do is place your bobbin into the bobbin case and thread it through the indicated path, which will cut off the thread at the end. Now you can put your cover back on and your bobbin is ready to go. Now we can thread our machine. Before threading, you want to make sure that your presser foot is up and that your needle is in the highest possible point. You can do this by pressing the needle up down button. You will see that the machine has numbers labeled at each step to guide you when threading. Simply follow the guide to successfully thread your machine. At step four, make sure that the thread is hooked into the take up lever. Otherwise your thread will get caught in the machine. At step six, make sure the thread goes past the metal gate and into the needle bar. Sometimes you'll need to hold the thread taut to do this. Then put your thread through the second gate at step seven and cut off the excess at step eight. Before the final step, lower your presser foot to ensure the needle threader won't hit the foot. Then to thread the needle, engage the auto needle threader by firmly pushing down the lever at step nine on the left side of your machine. Finally, pull the rest of the thread through the needle and tuck it under your presser foot. Now all you need to do is select a stitch and you can start sewing. 